What's going on guys? My name is Essence and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're back. We do fun things here and today, let's talk. So I just finished watching a YouTube video by the Nappy Head of Jehova. I've been subscribed to her channel for a little while now and a video just popped up. The video was called Divesting from the Natural Hair Community was great for me to be honest. That's what her video, that's what the title of the video is. And so I clicked on it and I watched it and I have some thoughts and responses about it. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take down these braids and I'm gonna put the video here on the screen so you can watch it with me and we can talk about it. I don't want this video to be too long, but I'd love to talk to you guys about it. So uh, before we start all of that, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the notifications because YouTube just shows you what they want you to see, not what you actually wanna see and you wanna see me. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And the product that I use today for my braid out is Embracing the Curl. This is actually a Canadian company and I've never used this product before, so let's see how this goes. Other than that, I'm gonna play this video and pause and respond as it goes on, so let's do this. Anyway, this used to be a hair channel exclusively. There's probably a good number of you guys who are surprised to hear that because I almost never do hair content any longer um, but it's just not worth it and that's really what we're talking about today and there are a few reasons for this the first of which is that it started getting very boring for me I mean how many times can I show y'all how I trim my ends really but the real lack of fulfillment that came over time with doing only hair videos wasn't just a lack of creative fulfillment the the natural hair community not a great place. Definitely not a place where I want to be spending my time, or better put, my efforts. I don't think it was always like this. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. But as time wore on, the whole movement of women going natural turned out to be not as progressive as I had imagined it was going to be. When it really came down to it, I found that even as afro textured hair was gaining more visibility on tv in movies and obviously on youtube it was a very particular aesthetic a very narrow view of what type of natural hair people wanted to show and more importantly that people wanted to see. I'll never forget when I really start to see the writing on the wall and I can't even remember whose channel it was or anything so I'm not putting anyone on blast here. But it was some basic <laughs> twist out video, not the, the girl but like the twist out itself. It was a basic <laughs> twist out and it kept coming up in my recommended videos like five, six years ago and I could see it already had like two million views. And in fact that was the only reason I ever even clicked. I was just like, uh, what, how, what is so special about this twist up video that it has 2 million views? And believe me, after clicking through and actually watching this thing, when I say this video was nothing special, I mean it. Again, this was like five years ago. So well into pretty much everyone in these YouTube screets with even a tacit interest in natural hair. At this point, everyone knows what a twist out is and how to do it. But somehow this video on a frigging basic twist out has 2 million views. Not sharing anything new, nothing innovative, nothing groundbreaking. Okay, nail polish is off. Let's just start with this twist out thing. It's actually so funny that she said this because this actually happens all the time. I'll see videos pop up on YouTube about, you know, twist outs, braid outs, wash and goes, and it's always the same kind of videos popping up and I'm like, this video is not even all that. Or even, when I was doing passion twists, if you guys YouTube passion twists, my videos are gonna be number one in the algorithm, you're welcome. But if you type in passion twists, you'll see a lot of passion twists with like girls with a certain texture hair and their video is not all that great. Mine's way better, just saying, but their videos are not that great. And, I, and I'm like, why are they here popping up all the time for passion twists when like, the passion twists are not that great. It's because their hair looks a certain way. It's because they look a certain way. And that's not because YouTube is saying, oh, I recognize that this person looks a certain way. Let me put this video out there first. That's not what it is. It's just a lot of people seeing someone with hair that they want or hair that is, you know, a looser curl pattern or whatever and clicking on that video when really you should be clicking on videos where the person has the same kind of hair as you. So I know what she's talking about in terms of like, your video being visible or certain videos getting a lot of views, it doesn't really make sense. Anyways, definition is popping on this braid out though. Let's just start with that. Hello. Yeah, 
That's really good. Anyways, let's let's hear what she has to say. Anyways, let's continue her video. Even more curious, I remember looking to see, okay, maybe she's just some huge hair to YouTuber who I've somehow never encountered before, which, I mean, I used to watch a lot of hair content at that time, so even that would have been far-fetched. Here we are with this video. It's got like 2 million views. This girl has like... I remember she had like one, maybe one other video at that time. And somehow she's gone viral off of a twist out we have all seen 50, 11 billion times before. And that moment is what crystallized something that I'd been seeing and clocking for quite a while by that point. This video and this YouTuber went viral not because she was showing some revolutionary technique or because so many more black women had hair like hers versus nappy hair like mine. No ma'am. In my opinion, she went viral because there are so many black women who wish they had hairs like hers and not hair like mine. It became clear to me that even though a lot, if not most, other black women have the same kinky, curls not popping, not defined, not clumping together, more coily than curly hair that I have. This hair that is decidedly not what we see on the women in the ads for the products that they're trying to sell to us, even though this so-called 4C hair is everywhere I've ever looked, in black families, in black salons, barber shops, people out here are still very much trying to hide it and run away from it. You know what y'all, the uh, Bardot top- Let's talk on that real quick. So it's so true that hair companies, um, ads, whatever, they will sell you the kind of hair that they think that you want to have. There's a documentary called Good Hair. Basically what they're doing is just talking about hair, their celebrities and all of this kind of stuff. They even go all the way to like Asia to show like where the weave comes from and how it's made. And I remember them going into this particular um, hair store that sold hair and uh, the guy, I think it's Chris Rock, I'm not sure. He had like afro hair like kinky like literally like an afro and he was holding it he's like why don't you guys sell this hair the store owner went nobody wants that hair no 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 we don't sell that hair we don't sell that hair nobody wants that and it just goes to show that like there's a certain look or there's a certain curl pattern or whatever that we're trying to sell you and that is the reason why people will watch certain videos where the person's twist or the person's wash and go or whatever their twist out in this case that she was talking about it looks so sleek it looks so you know curly it looks or whatever and they're watching the video because they want their hair to look like that but like realistically your hair doesn't look like that and so those videos get a lot of views because a lot of people like us with type 4 hair we're watching those videos like oh man what products did she use what did she do to get her hair like that like that's just the way her hair is though so yeah let's get back to the video to me it just seemed that the vast majority of people are more interested in seeing the hair they wish they had rather than learning to care for the hair they actually have. Colorism walks so texturism could run. And this pursuit of- Do you guys hear what she said? Colorism walked so texturism could run. People be making up new terms every, every 2020, every, you know, five, 10 years, you know, whatever. Colorism became a word. Now texturism is a word. Texturism basically is just like colorism but with hair texture. So treating someone a certain way, giving favor or being discriminatory or whatever, because your hair texture is a certain way. So what she just said was, snap, snap. Away from blackness in the hair textures that are praised and paraded under a farce of inclusivity remains incomplete. We're still not quite there yet. Yes, we have progressed from only seeing black women rocking straight and relaxed hair, but it's pretty rare that I actually see women with hair like mine unless I'm out in the real world. Almost never do I see it being praised and paraded, not in ads, not on TV, not in movies, not on YouTube. After all, we saw what happened last year with that H&M ad with that little girl, right? I did a whole video on that and I'll- Okay, so this part I have to disagree with just a little bit because um, I do think that certain textures are put out there more in on youtube and ads media you know tv commercials movies the like however i do feel like especially on instagram a lot of people are pushing really really hard to make 
type for four C hair, four B hair, whatever, a fine hair, a thing, trying to praise it, trying to put it out there. But at the end of the day, yes, in higher spaces like movies and stuff, you don't see it as often. But I do feel like now it's starting to gain a little bit more traction. Now you're starting to see more 4C hair, more afros, you know, certain um, hair textures being put out there a little bit more. So I would say that, like, it's not not happening. So let's look at YouTube and which hair influencers actually rise to the top. People will subscribe to all the girlies with hair that looks almost nothing like theirs and buy every coiling custard and curling pudding by the pound, trying to get their hair to look like something that it isn't. There is a reason we never got a 4C natural 85, right? And it's not for lack of trying. I've seen so many YouTubers with 4C hair who I feel should have had that type of reach, but they came and went. And the 4C hair vloggers who are reasonably successful still typically maintain a very particular standard of their own. You know, very long, very, very, very thick 4C hair is more important than the content itself, to be honest with you, for you to have any shot. I see it happening both here and on. Okay, here's the thing. This is what I think. And I think that, I don't think that she's wrong, but I do think that there's a balance to bring to it. When I first started on my hair journey, I was watching people who looked like me, people who had relaxed hair. At the time I had relaxed hair. People who had relaxed hair and their hair was long because that's what I wanted to achieve. You may have a 4C girl who has a ton of hair on her head or has really long hair for um, you know, that texture or for that fragility, but that's what people are trying to achieve. So you're gonna watch someone who's already been there because that's where you wanna get. You know what I'm saying? So I don't necessarily think People are going to go to the YouTubers that look like they're just struggling, hardly hardly no edges, hair up to the ears. Like, I'm, I'm trying to see what worked for someone else. I'm trying to get to a different place. So I want to see someone who did it first so that I can follow them and replicate what they did. That's the balance I would bring to that is, yeah, you might have certain YouTubers who have more, more of a following or whatever, but that's because that's what people are trying to achieve. Now, if you are a 4B, 4C, type 4 person in general, and you're following someone with 3A, 3B, trying to get your hair to look like that, I have no answer for you. But in terms of type 4 people, that's what I would say. So uh, let's keep going. On Instagram, if you have short 4C hair and it's normal or God forbid light density, Via con Dios. This describes most of the YouTubers who I used to watch and most of them don't even make content anymore. You can have great advice and all the tips in the world and people are still going to subscribe to and follow the girl with the good hair. Yeah, I said it. We are nowhere near moving on from the concept of good hair. Plus, the market seems to- Okay, pause. I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep pausing this because I, I, I'm gonna keep pausing this because I wanna respond in the moment to what she's saying. I want you to comment down below and let me know if you think we have moved or are moving away from the concept of good hair. I hope we're moving away from that. I hope that we're progressing past that, that just because your hair is straighter or longer doesn't mean it's good and someone else who has kinky, curly, coily texture, their hair is bad. Like, if you still think like that, you can unsubscribe now. I don't, I don't need your subscription that much. I'm gonna be honest, okay? There's no such thing as good hair because good is subjective okay i can say that my face is good someone else can be look at me and say my face is bad you know some pimples or some breakouts here i can be like you know, i have good skin someone else can look a dermatologist will look at me and be like no you have bad skin good and bad are subjective and it's not on you to tell someone or say that someone else has good hair and someone else has bad as far as I'm concerned, healthy hair is good hair. I digress. Comment down below and let me know if you think that we're moving away from the good hair concept. What do you think? Be honest. If you don't think we are, cool. Let me know. Let's get back. We decide what videos we click on and watch and who we uplift in whichever communities on YouTube. And frankly, no one was checking for 4C hair like that, even if they had. 4C hair like that. Realizing that is a huge part of why I lost interest in making hair videos and why it was an easy and even happy decision for me to walk away. My hair by nature is seen as unkempt, 
crazy. Wooly and wild automatically. The natural hair industry as we know it is largely predicated on beating hair textures like mine into submission, into getting it to conform and to curl even when it doesn't want to. Used to be conforming through relaxers, now it's like, let's make that 4C look like a 3C. You know, it's all about putting in a metric f ton of eco styler or wet line, whatever, it, whatever the gel du jour is, and brushing your hair within an inch of its life to make it look like something else. Not to mention this obsession with laying edges and slicking them down, which to me, culturally and psychologically is, ju is just as toxic as a perm. It's one thing if you just like the look, but people are way, way, way too pressed about these baby hairs and it, them looking like a very particular way. It is very clear when just liking a look is verging into anti-blackness, and I am not afraid to say it. I have seen time and time again Okay, I'm going to pause there. Um, yeah, she says what's on her mind. So if you're taken aback by the thing she's saying, that is, that's the nappy headed ho before you. She's not holding back no hold bars out here. I don't necessarily agree with this part. I don't necessarily think because you're trying to slick down baby hairs, it's as e it's equal to a perm or, you know, you're, 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 you're looking for a certain, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think that's like a suppression of your, your black ness or your black culture or whatever because you're trying to slick down baby hairs you'll get much farther if you embrace the hair that you have the texture that you have and just try to work on improving that rather than trying to change the way you are or the way that you look because you think it's desirable to other people newer hair channels eclipse other 4c girls who i've watched for years girls who were making videos before me and the handful of them who are still doing it now simply because the new girl has super thick dense hair and her 3c curls clumped together and she can slick her baby hair is like whoa and i've said before and i'm sure i will say again that for me the hair typing system you know this whole one two three type four hair functionally it's a whole lot like the brown paper bag test my hair meanwhile unremarkable. It's not super thick. I don't have the texture that y'all wish y'all had, which means I never really stood a chance in the natural hair community on YouTube and social media. It became clear to me that it wasn't enough to at least try to be helpful to share legitimate researched information. I used to think that the fact that I figured out how to at least grow my hair to a decent length despite it being fragile and prone to breakage, along with the fact that, again, when I look around and see other black people and particularly black women in the world, I have a very relatable texture and density. And when I uh, started out, I thought that that would in fact be what my niche was. But alas, this isn't awkward at all. To this day, whenever I do take a look at what's going on in hair YouTube, there are not many women repping 4C hair, despite its ubiquity in the world. I guess it turns out there's a reason for that. Okay, I'm gonna pause that right there, and I think I might stop it right there because um, there's still about 10 minutes to go left in the video. I don't wanna drag this on much longer. If you wanna see her video, click down below. I'm gonna stop the video right there, and I'm just gonna speak um, as I finish up my hair here. First of all, look at this braid in it. Whoa, whoa, and whoa, whoa, sun, shine on me, sun, glisten on this, oh, definition come through, oh, wow, wow, I am pleasantly surprised, again, I've never used this product before, so I was not expecting that, but um, let me show that to you again, so y'all don't miss it, this is good stuff right here. That's good stuff. So she basically just goes on to finish, um, you know, finish up the topic and stuff like that. But I just want to pause on what she said about making it as a YouTuber. Are YouTubers on here who do have type 4 hair, coarse hair, type 4C hair, whatever you want to call it, um, that are successful here on YouTube and not a lot of people with 4C hair that are YouTubers. Let's just be honest. It is harder to come on here, be vulnerable, show your hair, show your texture, knowing that some people are not even checking for it. Like a lot of people are trying to be like the other girl over there. But there are people on here with tech for hair that are doing a good job for themselves. So check them out. So 
I don't necessarily think that you're not going to make it. I don't think that you're not going to be successful. I just do think that we consumers and I just think that we as consumers do need to do better in the type of videos that we choose to click on and the type of girls that we choose to uplift and watch and promote because at the end of the day it's not they can upload the videos but someone needs to watch them you know what i'm saying anyways you guys so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish finish up this uh this braid out comment down below let me know what you thought of this video um let me know what your thoughts were i just think it's uh, a really interesting topic. I hope that you enjoyed sitting down with me here today. I'll leave the link down in the description for the nappy headed hoba and also for this product that I just used. So go ahead and check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.